Yeah, just here. How are we all doing boys and girls? We are here at the Mash Golf Club, we're trying to debate your driving. Oh, I can't even drive if I'm doing this mate. Use a can reverse. I use your phone? Uh, switch down there. Switch into reverse. That's that, that's, that's the beep, beep, beeper sounds. Right, okay. right, give it a right good bit of juice, we're doing that way. Yes, so uh, yes, we're here at Lam Lash Golf Club, absolutely stunning. Hold on, give him a minute. Oh, just guy's motor. You getting it? You getting it? Oh, Jesus Christ, easy on the, easy on the gas. Um, it's going to be a good day, by the way, it's going to be a good day. Um, I don't have enough time to do any intro or anything like that, just because we're getting a wee bit rushed out the door, but we're here. 18 holes played this a fair few times, this is your second? Second. This is Wilson's second time. Probably can't really hear me, but we'll give it a bash and we'll see what happens. So, yeah, enjoy. Oh, how you do? Oh. Jesus Christ! So Wilson's not done very well. Um, he's he's caught there off it. About 180 and at the flag. I mean, what a day for it though. Here, if that gets up, come on. Oh, it's just caught in the hill. It's all right. No, we chip party. Are we chip party? Hit that really nice. Oh, hit that really nice. I think he's on it. Front nines in this side of the valley and the second nines there, but there's a whole lot over there. You're gonna see more of that later on as the round goes on, but what a place. We've just caught to the brow of the hill. I'm just at the edge there. But look at Wilson. Right in there, let's get a wee zoom in on that. Cheeky boy. Is this for a wee par save? A wee cheeky par save. Wee cheeky par. Two fives for the lads. Not a strong start, but we've started. Our buggy's kind of struggling a wee bit with the hills. I think it's just because I'm a bit fat, I'm not going to lie, because every time I get out of it, it kind of moves all right. Um, yeah, two, two fives to start. What's the next? Two fives to start, what have we got? Uh, par three. I'm on 71, par three. It's right next to the road though. Uh, it's a bit windy. It's a bit hairy, isn't it? Aye, Plus it's busy the day. I bought it a pot out. <laughs> the pot. Oh, it's played a beauty. Yeah. That is on it. Oh, oh <laughs> just a bit short. Oh. Quite handy. That's alright. It's okay. That would have been nice as well. We were just talking. There's not many better settings. Like, there's that road there. Wilson's just a wee bit short. I think he's hit that bank, and I'm just. Just behind the bunker, but I mean, this place is absolutely stunning. We 58 degree, I think. How you plop up onto the green? I better not thin this right into somebody's windscreen, I'll tell you that right now. Because I see a gap in the fence, and that's in shank territory. And God help a wee buggy man, he's pure struggling. I think it has more to do with the weight of me rather than the buggy struggling. I don't think it's, I don't think it's uh, designed for fat boys. No, I did thin it. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! Oh. Four for me, half for Wilson. So I was just taking a wee walk up to the third hole. It's um, about 375 off these tees. But there is a gully that runs out, if I can zoom in for you. Just in there, just where you see that wee single tree, there's a gully that runs out, about 275. So we're going to take, what are you playing, your 3 iron? 3. Aye, uh, Wilson's Aye. going 3 iron, I've got my, my 4 iron, my Rocky Balboa. I 
That's a great shot. <laughs> Holy shot. That's really shot. Oh! Wind caught that. <laughs> You see it in the air and it just Aye. shot off to the right. Seeing it's about kind of 167 to the green, but there is quite a bit of a, a wind in it. It's basically the exact same number as the last par 3. If anyone's ever drive the main road, that's the, the road that runs past the golf course. So if you ever see one more, this is where we're at. Turned that over a wee bit. Oh, that's a bit of a wee bit. Mind, it's fine up there because that's an XT. Just a wee bit over to the left, that'll do it. <laughs> So I've got, seen about 140 to 145, I'm going to go 9 iron. Um, flag's just at the, right below the first big pine tree. Mm, yeah, a bit right. Yeah, a bit right. So just a wee bit short sided. Beautiful looking green. It's huge, can't believe we both missed that. Yeah, good shot. Really good shot. Oh, be good. It's all right. That's unlucky. We're, uh, we're just laughing there because I've just caught the front of the green, but um, the spin just taking it right off the front. So let's see. Well, that's the bush. Come on! It's uh, Fat Boy Centro in the buggy today, but um, yeah, just a wee bit unlucky. Oh, oh hold on, we might die. Just go for it. Just power out it. Um, yeah, I'll show you where mine is in a few minutes. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's where my ball landed. <laughs> it's like it's not just rolled off. Raging. Oh, he's not got it there. He's not got it there. Oh, he's unlucky, mate. Sorry about the creek. Oh. <laughs> no Great finish. Well done, mate. Two fours. Two fours. Two Let's fours. Tricky wee par three. So Wilson's just a wee bit, a wee bit short of the green. I'm just over on the fringe there. He's going for a wee chip around with Clubby Hatton. Yeah, it's nice 58 into the bank. You landed that absolutely perfectly. Come on, come on, come on. Get in, get in. Oh, no way. What a shot. What a shot. I was on the way. Ah, I thought you were in. How can I follow that up, man? Nah, it's not high enough. So 
So hole 7, it's pretty straightforward, it's about kind of 290 off the tee, it's saying 317 from here but it's about kind of 290 but you need to have at least a 230 carry on drive um, to have any chance because there's a wee bit of water there but there's a pole in the fairway which actually looks incredibly left uh, I don't know, if, if I, from what I can remember it all, the fairway all slopes down that way probably slopes down those trees at the back or something I think so, I think probably that, see the big tree in the distance that you can see, like that guy there, I think that's probably the aim where are you going? Five iron. Five iron, that's a shout. Straight. That's a peach, mate. So even though Wilson, it wasn't a great iron shot, it's actually in a really good position. We'll zoom in at the green for you. The aim is absolutely spot on. You can see the flag there, it's actually um, left side. So the aim pole, which is there, is pretty spot on. In case you're playing it yourself. Nice nine iron for Wilson. Played that alright, a bit chunky. Should get there though. Ah, oh, it's short again, I think. Is it? I get it. Yeah, as I said in the last video, um, I come over to Aaron, or we come over to Aaron um, every year and uh, try and get as much golf in. This year we're playing. Uh, Corey, which should be out, that was a video that we done the other day which was an immense round we have to say, 3 under for myself and level par for the big man so we're hoping we get some decent scores today we've got Shiskin later on the day which is actually going to be really good we've got the buggy, we don't, wouldn't normally take the buggy we've got the buggy just because we're a wee bit short for time I'm trying to watch the battery on this um, yeah. he's going to drive away with it mate NO! Yes! Let's go! Uh, we've got about 85, 86 into the pin, it's right at the front where it looks at. Go take a wee kind of shoulder to shoulder. 54 degree, we knock down shot. That's the shot, mate. I've overhead it. Oh! Right off the back of the green. I absolutely crushed that. Absolutely crushed it. So Wilson's just a bit short side of the green but there's like a hill and it runs right down here and it's a really really tight pin Mine's just right over the back man So let's see what you can do here This is going to take some nice hands The shot game's on fire Aye Sit It's alright though you're still staying up There's tricky shots and then there's tricky shots the green goes down, up, and then plateaus. Oh, here. I'm uh, not angry with that. Wilson just doing a pee pee. I'm uh, not angry with that at all. I would uh, be happy to get that in for the wee pair. Hole 7, it's about kind of 200 odd yards. I'll give you a wee view of it. Goes down, the green's just, the pin's just at the front of the green. Where are you going, 6 iron? 6 iron. Yeah, it's probably a good shout. That could work really well. That's short. Just off toe. Oh, is it? That could be nice. Wilson's found himself in a bit of trouble. I know the rules guys will probably have a go at me and say, no, you shouldn't be playing fair now. But uh, yeah, we're on holiday, that's what we're doing. You found another ball? What's that? Oh, cheeky these tricks and distance. Thanks, pal. He's got about kind of 50 yards to the green, so. Let's see what he can do. Oh, it's out though, mate. 
I actually think that divot might have landed full in the ball. The rain is coming. Might punch that up well. Well, oh, that could be nice. Oh, that is very nice. Very good, very nice. We've just caught a wee glimpse of my ball. Show me a second. Hole 8, playing about 210, severely uphill. There is a pole, which you see in the middle of the screen, which is the aim. The uh, the green pretty much drops straight after that, so you need to be quite good with your aim here. Two six hands again, it's pretty much the same hole as last time. So. Yeah, it's the same kind of club. So we're just at the uh, the green here, Wilson is actually not bad, just at the tee there, I'm just short of the green, but what I wanted to show you was that, I mean, wow, that's the whole aisle down there, um, you can get trips from one lash over the whole aisle, um, I would strongly advise going over, it's, it's definitely worthwhile, so that's the uh, first green that we come into, just at those trees. Absolutely stunning. We're thinking about bringing out a book, The uh, Benches of Harren, which uh, if anybody wants to purchase, give us a shout. That's alright. I'm lucky, mate. Just stop short, eh? I think so. Oh, we made it over the bench. It was, mate, you got it over the bench. Let's get some cinematic shots. Oh, nah. Fucking good. We can't actually remember where we're aiming. We're gonna have about six iron. It's a uh, 270 down to the green, but it's hella downhill, downwind. Plus we don't really know what we're aiming at, so six iron. I know it's building that hill. Great strike though. Should be alright. So we're just now on the descent. This feels not bad. It's a very, very hilly course. So if you do get a chance, get the buggy. Get the buggy. Last time we played in it without the buggy and it was killer. Oh it was, but it was an absolute scorcher of a day. Oh. Hey, we've just seen where the green is. We couldn't actually remember where it is. And it's right down there. Aye, so we've just seen where we've came from. As I said, we didn't really know the aim, but we knew just to go a wee bit right at the pole. That's me just at the front, if it zooms in, which is the green there. Aye, it's a very achievable green. It says 270, but it was a wee bit downwind. And uh, that was two nice, comfortable six irons. Wilson is just in the rough. Come on. It's a great shot. Here, uh, quite a tricky chip. Go go 58 degree. Get it onto the green, let it release down. Hopefully. Hey, 
think my aim is a bit off there. Wilson's just doing the scores. What we at? Uh, you at 34. What you at? I'm doing what I know. Oh, okay. So it's 34 to the back. Or going out, sorry. It's a 31 plus 3 going out. Okay. Yeah, that's alright. Okay, tricky one, hole 10. Um, see if I can zoom it in and actually show you because the flag's slightly kind of tucked around the corner. Yellow flag up there. And uh, yeah. It's playing about kind of 220, it's probably about 198 off the cars, but about 220. A great swing. Should be fine now. Okay, so I've left myself in a bit of crappy position here. That uh, wee shankaroo off the tee wasn't great. So, I have about 90 yards. I don't really know, as I say, GPS really isn't working. Uh, and of course, just with the kind of signals and stuff. So, we're going to go a 58 degree. Similar to that 54 degree I had in that last hole. I just don't want to over hit it. So, A wee bit, but we'll see. We punched that well. Let's have a look in the green. It did bounce. Yeah, it's still on. See, there's Wilson there. Apparently, I hit that slope. I hit that slope there. And it's come trickling down. Two fours there. We think that was a par three. Um, this is like a 64, the actual course. So it's riddled with par threes. You really need to be shooting well. Seriously, you need to be shooting well in this course. Um, we've got the kind of the triangle bit, which goes out the course, which we going to be second. And then you come back to where we are now to then go back down the hill. We have a look. There's a hole going up that way. Then it cuts across up to there. And then you're back down to that green. Then you walk across. And then you hit a shot down there. So this is like a kind of triangular bit. It's quite good. Hey, hole 11, it's um, pretty much straight uphill. It's about 2.13 but playing about 2.50. We're going to take driver because the wind's swirling. You get a wee bit of a swirl at this but um, you can lose it up to the right if you're a bit of a slicer but just a nice easy driver I think. Not a great Keep shake at all. Oh, great shot. Perfect line. Come on, come on. Oh, I think you're on. I think you're on. We've literally just come up the hill and Wilson has hit an absolute topper. What a shot, mate. See if MD could have seen us, like the boggy struggles, it struggles to go up the hill and these are quite steep hills. But <laughs> we had to zigzag all the way up the fairway. Honest to God, I'm just down in the rough there. Oh. 
We're just saying, I think it may be taps half. This is absolutely stunning. So uh, just a wee score update, um, Wilson, I don't think he's really properly counting, but uh, that was a birdie, he did get in that, so he's pulled one back. I think I'm probably about six or something over, I'll put it on the screen. Um, got a wee par there, but I think in the last hole, I think it was a, a bogey, we'll see. We've got, is this a par four or three? Oh, it's about 220 again, as you can see, it's literally right in line with the whole area, where am I, where am I? Yeah, right in line with that. And uh, it's about kind of 220, swollen wind. So I'm going to put the camera here and give you just quite a nice shot. laughing because that's my ball there, it's actually not bad, it's pin high. Wilson is a guy doing some breaking at the back, I'm presuming that's for a new tee they're putting in. And uh, Wilson was actually in there with the 5 iron, so he's now in the wee dropping zone there. You got it? Uh, I thought it was in the actual hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the hole. Um, next hole is all the ways are down there. Looking forward to it. It's quite poorly in it. Is that a 58? I'll go 58. Stunning course. Loves it here. Alright. Just watching the wee guy out in the water. That's what you want to do man. We were watching him yesterday, they had jet skis and everything all out there. Absolutely stunning. Finish me. Two fours. Wilson just landed a wee bit short here, but take a wee zoom in, it's alright. That wasn't bad mate. That's a great roll, great roll! Yes! Oh, starting to get the hang well of it. done mate. That's a pot. <coughs> I 14 holes, that's you. <laughs> Sorted with the putting. It's only take me 14 to get the gips. Finish. Beachy. 
cheeky birthday. Cheeky birthday? Want this sauce? No. Oh, it's sauce. The birthday juice. Birthday juice. Right. Yes, Wilson's actually not bad, just on the left side of the fairway here. A nice V58. It does run down just at the front of the green, so we need to kind of carry this right on. Do you know what? I think he's actually done okay. Uh, it's okay. But I worked with the run though. Um, just over there, see the fairway there, I'm going to actually have pretty much a similar shot but looking at the green, it's actually going to be a bit brutal but look at these houses here, right on the course, absolutely stunning that one there is huge, that was uh, getting built when we were here last year and it's actually quite nice to see it being built great big house oh, it's okay Landed just a wee bit shy. I mean, I'm quite worried about the battery. I've got like 40% battery. I do have a charge on the car though, but we've still got Shiskin to play, which is probably going to need about 70% battery. So hopefully <laughs> we can get around Shiskin okay. Uh, we're pretty much going straight there after this. There'll be no clothes changes, no none of that, just straight to the course. So Wilson, is this a par three again? Yeah. <sighs> That's wild, man. So many par threes, man. I know, so many par threes. Quite a beautiful wee par 3 coming up here, it's playing about 110, it's only 90 but with the wind it's probably about 110 It's uh, absolutely great, lovely lovely setting uh, 50 degree for me, what are you doing, 54? So. Uh, you'll, see what my, you'll see what my 50 Aye. does now, you'll choose Your boys just stiffed that to what, about 4 feet? <laughs> ah, you'll play that. I'll do a zoom in. Right, he's, hopefully, you can see that. See, they're just in the middle of the green. That'll do. Come on. Come on. Yes. Great shot. Ah, good draw. Yeah, good finish mate. Two threes. So we're realistically going to need to work out the scores probably after I do this. Uh, you will probably know on the screen right now where we're at because we've kind of lost track. We did have a pencil but it broke. So we're actually just scraping our, our scores into the scorecard with a golf tee. But that last hole, not that one there, the one before, it was actually a par four. So like 230, 240, so it's a relatively short par four but it was still quite tricky but we did, from what we see, get pars on it. So we'll try and work out roughly what we think it is by the end of the round. Um, but as I say, it will whatever's on the screen will be legitimate. Um, yeah, another par three coming up. <laughs> Playing well, mate. Playing well. Uh, Having a good day. Better second name. Better second name. Has a better second name. So I'll just show you the the card. <laughs> you can see we're scraping the numbers in with a T, but it's a sixty-one par. So. Yeah, by the way, I think we are both going to break 80 today. This could be a break 80 episode.
It's a better shot. So we just had the absolute pleasure of bumping into Glenn, who is the assistant deputy greenkeeper here and what an absolute cracking wee guy so I'll put his Instagram down below and it should be on the screen now, go and give him a wee follow, some great pictures doing some amount of work here, really some amount of work. The Open is this weekend so obviously the course is playing really quite well but uh, yeah thanks for the chat Glenn, it was, uh, I love that, love that sort of stuff just finding out kind of what they're doing with the course and all that but they are powering through a lot of work, a lot of work certainly since last year we were here we've noticed quite a bit of a difference in the way that the course actually plays but 18th hole and uh, it's been a not bad wee round so hi Glenn beautiful hit absolute shot of the day I've no idea where it came down Right. Lovely mate. That's going to be tricky. I think we're both in the exact same spot. Same spot, isn't it? It's too much draw, isn't it? Uh, just coming down to the, uh, the 18th. I really don't know if you'll be able to hear us with the engine. It's, uh, it's going for it. But it's uh, been a really enjoyable round. I actually played some okay golf for both of us. There's been one or two wee shots that... Come on! <laughs> There's been one or two wee shots that we've kind of struggled with, but in the majority has been okay. So, yeah. Hopefully get two shots into the green all right. Well, that's coming in lovely. Yeah, good shot. Great shot. It actually started out well out to the right, out about here, and drew in. Oh! That took a wild bounce. Oh, here. That was the line. Right, uh, thanks very much for watching guys. This has been Lamlash Golf Course. I have absolutely no idea what the scores are. I'll put them in the screen. We think 8 or 9 over or something. I don't know. I don't know. I actually can't remember. I've not kept track yet. But uh, yeah, get ourselves booked in. We're off to Shiskin. I've got 30% left in this. I need to try and get it to about 50% and then hopefully we can get some good shots of Shiskin. So I'm going to cut it short there. Hopefully there's a few more par 4s at Shiskin. <laughs> hopefully there's more par 4s at Shiskin. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys, uh, behave yourselves, take it easy and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, all details of the Marsh will be down below and thanks for having us Glenn and team.